Hey, what is going on YouTube? It is Francis Faustack back with another video. Today, I'm going to be telling you how to get easy materials and easy rep and easy gold, all that good stuff. Um, so this is for sailing and cannons mainly. Um, if you want to upgrade your ship fast, if you want to level up fast, both cannons, sailing, and notoriety, then make sure to follow the steps that I give you. Well, not exactly steps, but... Okay, so on Abasa, Abasa is usually the most popular server. Um, right now it has, I think, like 100, 172 people, which is a lot. Way more than any of the other servers. So usually a lot, there are a lot of ships out on the sea right now. As you can see, there's probably around 10 to 15, maybe even 20 ships surrounding, surrounding me right now. And so basically this is the start of what people call... Um, a cluster, or the Abasa cluster, because there's just a cluster of ships. And eventually, what will happen is all these ships with just skulls, they'll go up to skull and crossbones, um, and they'll get hunters and warships, and it'll just be an all out sea war. So basically, all you're gonna have to do is like what I'm about to do. So you just run up to someone with a warship, you pop, oh wait, no, it sank. Dang it. So you find someone with a hunter on them. Oh, there's a battle royale. So these ships are going to sink really fast, which is why you need to do this quickly. Oh my god. Yeah, this is what happens sometimes. It glitches a lot because there's so many people out here. So you're going to pull up next to it and just uh, give it all you got with your cannons. So now I will automatically get materials from this ship. And basically... Um, so yeah, as you can see, I got rare ship materials, I got rep, and I got one royal chest, which will give me some good gold. Um, and th now here's a hunter that I can um, kill and get just regular ship materials. And as you can see, people are starting to fill up on plunder, and they're starting to raise their um, their rank, I guess, for um, warships and all that stuff. Let's see if I can hit this red dervish. Yep, and I got one loot chest, one ship material, and two treasure treasure chests. So as you can see, there's um, skull and crossbones. There's the last tier, and then there are a lot of them with one bone. Um, that'll will soon get to hunters, which will then evolve into, um, which will evolve into a full on cluster where you can fill up on mats super super easily. It won't take a long time, so I'll see you guys um, if and when there is a full-on cluster. Alright guys, I'm back. That was literally like not even five minutes after the last clip. It's already just insane. I'm already... Am I filled up on mats? I'm really close to being filled up on mats. and I've been out here for a total of five minutes, I believe. Um... So yeah, some of the ships are starting to go away because they have full cargo, but as you can see by my compass in the top right, there are a lot of hunters and a lot of warships. So you can just, if you have cannoneers, which will make this a whole lot easier, you just come up to a ship that is still um, floating, not sunk like that one, um, but you just pull up to it, you have your cannoneer shoot a few times, maybe get uh, a broadside or two in there, and you'll get the mats, you'll get, you know, 50 plus rep, depending on your crew bonus. And you'll get mats really quickly. Like, if you come, if you come to Abasa, you'll, and it's like full-fledged uh, cluster right away, you're gonna fill up in probably 10 minutes, which is really, um, it's a really easy way to get loot. Uh, and level, and upgrade your ships, get gold, get rep, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, um, uh, let me get hunters real quick so I can show you. But yeah, just going around shooting everything you can. Shooting stuff from a distance is always good. Because most people come out here mainly for mats. Um, I don't know about rep. Well, probably rep too. I mean, who doesn't want a little bit of rep? So yeah guys, I'll see you when I dock and I'll show you how many materials I got and all that stuff.
Peace. Alright guys, I'm back. So right now I'm about to port. As you can see, I got the top tier. Um, I almost died. I don't have anyone to repair. Uh, all my sides are destroyed. I'm on fire and I'm running from oh, a tally ho and a red dervish. And I have to land a devil's anvil. So, my materials, I did not get full materials. Dude, get out of the way. Jesus Christ, I hate people. But I did get three royal chests just to show you like how much gold you can get if you really want. If what you're going for is gold. Um, but yeah, I'll just show you guys that. We're almost at Devil's Anvil. <sighs> so yeah, it was really crazy out there. I don't think I was lagging too bad. Hopefully I wasn't. Um, yeah, let me shoot this battle right out before I dock. Oh, jeez. Is that a... Oh no, that's not a hunter. Okay, never mind. Jeez, that's fast. And shoot that way. Hit the scorn siren and dock. Alright, so hopefully I don't crash. I don't usually crash when I land from a mat run, but you can never be sure. Okay. So let's see what we got. Alright, so we got a bunch of seas charge. Um, but we did get a good amount of um, iron, 45 iron, that's pretty good. I think I do need iron for one of my upgrades. I also got about a thousand gold, so that's like, what, like about 300, um, 300 some gold in each um, royal chest. So yeah, this mount run wasn't great, but I did level up a little bit, which was nice, and I did get some extra materials. So yeah, guys, um, nice, okay, so yeah, this is going to do it for this video, um, I hope you guys get a lot of loot from this method, I know I will definitely be doing it in the future, not only to level sailing, but to get gold, materials, all that stuff, um, so yeah, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, down below what you want me to do next, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.